Hello everyone, welcome to exception handling and the topic create and use custom exceptions. Java provides many exception classes uh, in the library, but uh, sometimes uh, we need to write a more specific or specialized method. Uh, and a type of exception so you can create your own exception class for that uh, in this section we will create the custom uh, exception so when uh, creating your own exception uh, it is uh, pretty common that uh, to extend exception for check or a runtime exception for uncheck exception okay so I have made one project in IntelliJ custom exception and uh, I would like to create a class name as dolphin and I create a class cannot swim exception which extends exception and second class danger in water extends runtime exception and uh, third class shark in the water exception which extends danger in water okay so one class extend from exception which we call as a check exception another class extend from runtime exception which is we call as uncheck exception and the same class has a child class and we have one method here public void swim which throws cannot swim exception okay pretty simple So what I'm to I'm going to do with the cannot swim exception class I would like to generate a constructor and uh, there are four parent class constructor one uh, is uh, no argument it's constructor then have a throwable then have a message so so this is the one and uh, no argument constructor even though we do not put this is by default the first line called super as you know and uh, another one I put cannot swim exception exception type and uh, what it does it calls super class throwable and then public uh, cannot swim exception and string method string message
what it does it calls super class uh, um, a string uh, parameter constructor okay so so this is our cannot swim extend exception class and uh, In the main where we have a main method if I would like to say throw new cannot swim exception and uh, I would like to run this main method so check the output so yes say the exception in thread main cannot swim okay so it doesn't give much more information okay so why cannot swim let's now put some message here I say like broken fin and now see that how it goes we have a message uh, string message constructor yes so the message display over here okay uh, we also have a one with exception class so so I need to commit out the previous one as you know that we cannot throw more than one exception in a method or in a block so new cannot swim exception and if I would like to here put exception class um, file not found exception and uh, I say like uh, cannot find shark file so what it does this one will call uh, the constructor with the uh, exception class as we have seen okay so we can say that so it's a file not found exception can messages cannot find shark and cause by this one and the rest of the message okay so here I have called three of them so you have seen that how could we use them all right okay so uh, this are uh, uh, these all constructors are uh, functioning same as their parent class so let's uh, uh, change a little bit uh, their uh, input to the constructor or parent co constructor and see that how it will display the output for instance if uh, I put over here that a message like uh, cannot swim because and uh, e dot to string we don't need to call to a string uh, but let's do it and see that how it will affect with parent one so due to our uh, custom um implementation so we have cannot swim because here and also the message is here java dot io file not found and cannot find your file okay so we have done a little bit implementation in the constructor okay so uh, make sure that you know this topic for the exam 
um, I would like also mention uh, how to print exception so for printing exception as you have seen that if uh, for instance I have a method here and uh, let's see this method throw an exception cannot hop so we can as it is a runtime exception if we want we can put this one into try catch block and when exception comes uh, when the method throw an exception it will uh, go inside the catch block so let's see one by one if I say okay just print the exception see what the result would be so it prints the exception type and message okay okay so let's separate out if I say e dot only I need the message so let's see what it would be okay so for the second line here in the catch it only printed out message um, there is a method called print stack a uh, print stack trace so what is actually a stack so stack actually shows the exception along with the method call it took to get there um, so um, stack trace is it shows the hierarchy of the method call uh, that were made to each line that threw the exception okay so as you know that in the memory we have stack we have a heap and um, whenever we call any method starting from a main it goes in the stack the stack has uh, uh, leafo order last in first out and uh, it goes all the way to find out that method where the problem is so let's see so we were already getting these two so with the print stack trace it has given okay the runtime exception and you can see that first it goes to the hop method which is at the top of main because this is a stack stack main and uh, bottom is a main so if you need to investigate where the error comes from this one is also pretty handy I always do this whenever I program okay all right uh, I hope uh, you like this short video and uh, stay tuned do a lot of a practice and please provide your feedback thank you